All right, what's up everyone? And welcome back to Dan versus Food. Today, me and Michael are at Crown Plaza. Here is Michael. And we are going to eat at their five-star breakfast buffet. I eventually get to eat some Western food. Uh, there's loads of like cheeses and uh, bacon, sausages, baked beans, um, stuff that is just generally very, very difficult to, to buy or get hold of in Laos. And so we've got our table, we've just been escorted to our table. Um, we've got a nice glass of cold water. And there's soy milk, full cream milk, and low fat milk on ice. So cereals and walnuts, little packets of mixed fruits and nuts as well. Oh, pecans. Pecans. What? Yogurt. Yogurt in 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 the little little milk bottles. Street so station and croissants. Danishes and alpans. Mozzarella scrolls and sweet savory scones. Oh my. Oh wow. <laughs> Hello, whipping cream, honey, pineapple jam, peanut butter, strawberry jam, vanilla custard. What? Some uh, rolls, baguettes. Check those baguettes out. Wow. Noodle station. Four different types of noodles here. And uh, some meats and fish, uh, meatballs, eggs beef and chicken and pork, vegetables for the, for the soup. So we've got all the standard, yeah, shallots, pepper, limes, oh, I mean, everything, basically everything. Okay, just basic steamed rice, vegetable pickles. Mm, okay, then I wonder what that's like. A vegetable curry, pork steak with corn pepper sauce and beef bulgogi, a salted egg, flossy, Pork century egg. Ah, uh, what? Century egg? Is that like the hundred year old egg that's like a delicacy in Asia? Here's some baked beans. Wow, I haven't had baked beans in more than a year and a half. Literally, I'm just gonna get a huge bowl of that, I think. Baked beans, grilled bacon, and huge roasted tomatoes there with some herbs and stuff on. Chicken sausage, sauteed mushrooms, and parsley potato. Oh wow, they look, just look like straight up, straight up roast potatoes. Awesome. <laughs> this kitchen is amazing. It's a pizza, it's a pizza station. Breakfast pizza? What? <laughs> this is just amazing. There's so much food here, I don't even know, like, where to start, what to, what to do, what to eat. Smoked salmon, what? Smoked salmon, um, Paris ham, olives, salami, prosciutto, uh, feta cheese, some uh, hummus, I don't even know what that is. Oh, oh, is that the hummus? Wow, how is it that color? Sun-dried tomatoes, uh, what else do we have, brie? Blue cheese is here, salads, looks like eggplant, green, uh, red pepper in a sauce, classic cob salad, bacon, red onions, tomatoes, sweet corn, lettuce, cheese. And here's the bread station. Oh, bread station, hello. We've got some white and seeded sesame seed rolls here. These look like some kind of maybe rye. It's under there. Okay, so it's huge slices of, of bread, nice like walnut and raisin loaf, small sourdoughs, wow, wow, just wow. So first I am going in for some baked beans and I'm going to go get some bread, <laughs> okay, because it's been so long since I've had baked beans, I can't even describe to you how much I miss this food. I, in fact, I think I actually forgot about baked beans because they're just unheard of here. I'm going to get some of this bacon. Look at all that fat dripping off the bacon. Oh my, into my baked beans. Epic. It's a little bit disappointing, but the only sausages that I've seen so far is this, this chicken sausage, which looks a little bit like hot doggy processed, slightly processed, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna try them out, see, see what that's, that tastes like. Um, and maybe a couple of uh, mushrooms. Nice mushrooms there. 
Okay, All right, so this is my first dish. The only thing I can, what I can fit on this quite small side plate actually. I think I've just seen a pile of bigger plates. I'm so stupid, why did I, why did I get this small plate first? <laughs> I'm doing it all wrong. Mm, well, I'm going in for the bacon. Now I think bacon first, right? Mm, look at that. Oh yes, oh yes. Real bacon, proper bacon. Two, two massive slices <laughs> folded up together. <laughs> That's insane. Wow, just wow. <laughs> Might have to come here like every Sunday morning, I think. Time to get try these baked beans now. I know that your people in England are probably just gonna be like, they're just baked beans, they're just baked beans. But like I said, I haven't eaten baked beans in, I can't even remember to be honest with you. So this is gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. Mm. Oh, wow. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Standard baked beans, but <laughs> I miss it so much. Mm, there's some mushroom on there as well. Mm. Mushroom's good. <laughs> Michael's just drinking his yogurt. <laughs> smoothie, bro. Smoothie. <laughs> smoothie. <laughs> yogurt, yogurt smoothie. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. A little bit cold. I wish uh, they need to be hotter. Okay. Try this chicken sausage, which is random. Okay, chicken sausage, a few baked beans, and um, and again another piece of the mushroom. If I can, no, I can't. All right, there we go. Mm. It's a bit like processed hot dog, basically. Doesn't taste like chicken, just tastes like a normal, normal hot dog. All right, so that was my, my little starter. Now I'm gonna go and find one of the big plates and make a massive pile of everything <laughs> and devour it all. I literally cannot tell you how excited I am. I almost forgot about this. I just walked past the, the, the continental meats and salamis and smoked salmon and cheese section. So I think I'm gonna go in for this next. Right. You've got chunks of smoked salmon there, it looks really good. Some sour cream, just on the side. A little bit of that. This is the Paris ham. Get a couple of them, I think. Looks pretty good. Pickles as well, and some olives. Oh, I need to turn this around. I'm using these, I'm using these the wrong way. Okay, so it's olives, black olives, and capers, we can get a few capers in there for well. Yes, and a prosciutto. Come here, prosciutto. Yes, look at that. <laughs> um, boom, 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 boom. What do we got next? Let's get a couple of slices of, okay, so that's just Edam. I'll just get one slice of Edam, actually. Just the one is good enough. Um, a brie, get a couple, Two, yep, okay, two slices of brie. Right, what else do we have? Feta, oh yeah, can't forget the feta. Where is that? There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go in for it, literally, just one spoonful of that. We'll go, back, we'll go back there. And now, blue cheese. That's great, they give you your own cheese knife and you can just cut off whatever, whatever you want. Looks like two different cheeses here. With this one, let's just, oh wow. That literally just, it was like butter. Literal butter. Okay, and this one, is it the same? I'm not entirely sure, but okay. Maybe not, no, it has a very, very different consistency to it. Okay. Oh. That looks all right for now. Maybe maybe a, a bread. Let's have a look. Which one? I might go for the sourdough. Oh wow, that's really soft. 
maybe it's missing some sauce. I want some kind of... What sauce do they have here? I'm not even sure what these are. There's no... Oh, okay, sorry, it's here. So honey, balsamic and avocado, sesame dressing, orange and honey. Orange and honey sounds good. Something that I don't usually eat. I can't really get anywhere <laughs> on the street. I'm just going straight in for that can literally go over the smoked salmon. Yeah. And let's try the sesame dressing. Quite a thick sauce, this one. Wow. Okay. okay, and that can just be dolloped right in the middle there. Let's see what that's like. And a couple of tomatoes as well. Let's go in for tomatoes. Super happy, let's go, let's go <laughs> with my food. I've just got back to my table and there's some just scrambled egg here. I, I didn't even order this. I'm not sure um, why they brought it. So, okay, why not? Let's test this out. So the scrambled egg looks really good and it smells very, very nice. It smells really, really creamy. Steaming hot as well. Steaming hot scrambled creamy egg at the table when you didn't even order it. That's good. That is good, but I want to eat this, so I'm going to put this over here for now. Platter of continental meats and cheeses, bread, um, yeah, everything. Okay, check it. Look at this. This is literally like unheard of in 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 a Laos, especially Laos. Like this is crazy that you can actually get these some of these foods here. So I'm going to break open the sourdough but I'm not sure if it is it doesn't feel like a sourdough it's really soft sourdough is usually really hard just got the bottom part of that and I'm gonna go for cheese I think very very soft blue cheese I'm gonna smear it on the bread huge dollop mm. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> how Mm. It's quite chewy, chewy bread. This cheese is immense. It's so good. I'm just gonna have a just a, a, a mouthful of of this cheese. Mm. Mm. Oh my! Butter and bacon bread. Butter, butter and bacon. bacon. Yeah, I got butter and bacon. Okay, next smoked salmon. You want to go in for just this by itself? Mm, mm. And some of the, like a, the, the, the orange and the orange sauce. Mm. Okay, again, I haven't had smoked salmon in ages. Unheard of in, in that one. And capers, beautiful, beautiful capers. Some of this Paris ham with another sauce that I got on there. Can't remember the name of the sauce. Actual ham. Mm. Spectacular. Let's go in for some of the prosciutto now, very thinly sliced. Mm. So good. Mm. I'm going to use a spoon, get some olives and capers, mm. um, some gherkin and feta cheese, and some of this other sauce as well and a bit of creme, creme fraiche, all on one spoon. Mm. That's a good combination. Random, but good. More smoked salmon. So, cherry tomato, feta cheese, and smoked salmon. Oh, oh that's a big mouthful. Uh oh. Love it. Made a bunch of yumminess onto uh, the other half of this bread. Mm. Mm. Here is some um, brie mm -hmm. and some edam with prosciutto and ham mixed with a bunch of like different sauces. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 
So I've eaten about half of this, but I'm gonna keep it, keep it for later, because I wanna go and grab some. Oh, thank you, Michael's bought me an orange juice. It's not orange juice, it's, it's mango juice. Now it is potato time, because I haven't had like roast potatoes like this in a long time. Grab a small amount of them, four of them. And have another wander around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab a pizza later. Or maybe I'll get a fried egg. I want a fried egg actually. Hello, can I have a fried egg? Fried egg, please. Yeah, I want to crack the yolk open so it just oozes everywhere. Hopefully, I'll get a good shot of that. I have my fried eggs. It literally does look like a face some of this um, mixed mix salad. I'm not sure what sauce it's in though. It looks, um, yeah, like a, maybe a balsamic, a balsamic, I think. I know this is pretty random concoction, potatoes, fried eggs, and then these kinds of salads, but oh well, oh well. And the, the classic cob salad. I think it kind of needs a bit of a stir, this right? Okay, there's a chicken in there. There's just a bit of everything. It looks really good. Okay, Ooh, the baked crispy bacon, breaded chicken, sweet corn. Uh, get around. I want to get around this side. Yeah, some red onion and tomato as well. What else can we grab from here? I want to. Yeah, I might just grab some um, some nuts and dried apricots. I mean, why not? Look at the salami, that's what I missed before, wasn't it? How can I forget the salami? Oh, oh I don't need that much. Just this one, that's what I want. <clears throat> and a different kind of bread this time. What bread shall I go for? Just a white bread roll, actually. That looks, looks pretty good. Maybe some tomatoes, a bit of red onion, a bit of the ch breaded chicken, a bit of the bacon, and then just break open this yolk. Yep, yep. Oh no, I'm losing the bacon. I'm losing the bacon. Mm -hmm. Wow. Amazing. Let's try one of these like roasted potatoes. It looks like they've got some kind of herbs on them as well, which is good. And I, again, I'm going in for some yolk. I love the yolk. I might actually just, yeah, get that, that whole yolk just gone on the spoon actually. And then I'm gonna just put that potato. Yeah, I'm just gonna have the potato and then chase it with, with this. And then some blue cheese. Mm. <laughs> Those three combination <laughs> potato just melted, the yolk, and then that really soft blue creamy cheese. <laughs> that is super, super good. Oh, I love this food. I'm so happy with this buffet. Definitely gonna have to come back here again, maybe next week. Now I've got some cob salad with corn and some chicken and onion and why not? I've just put a dried apricot on there as well <laughs> just to give it a bit of sweetness. And all right combination again. Balsamic uh, pepper salad as well. Mm. Oh, a bit sharp pretty good and the salami the small salami or it might even just be I'm not sure it's more like pepperoni no it's salami right okay mm -mm. wow followed by some blue cheese Mm. Again, just another random spoon of bacon, some like melted cheese on there, and, a, and I'm just I'm gonna have this and then chase it with with uh, the the lettuce. Mm, crunch, love it. Mm, I love everything. 
There you go. There's lettuce, a load of lettuce and aubergine in a one big bite. Mm. Happy, happy. What they do also is just like fresh milkshake or smoothie, right? Just in these little cool like um, milk bowls. Just giving it a good shake. Okay, strawberry. Strawberry smoothie shake. Let's try this. Ooh, really sweet. Mm. Very, very sweet. But it's good. It's really refreshing. I've just got some whipping cream with some all bran, walnuts, pecans, sunflower seeds, um, pumpkin seeds, linseed. I'm just going to give this like a bit of a mix. Oh, there's honey on there as well. There's honey. There's honey as well. <laughs> just a random concoction of stuff. Mmm. Green. Cream on all bland. Who needs milk when you have cream? Wow. I also got a couple of danishes as well. Let's try this one. I think it's like a, maybe a cherry. A cherry one. Mm, okay, yeah. The pastry is good. The filling is not good. This is the really artificial jelly jam stuff, but yeah, the pastry is amazing. Though. I wish I just they just did the pastry uh, by themselves. Well, yeah, that's not good. Uh, not good filling. And this one's a cinnamon roll, which I love cinnamon and I love rolls, so I'm pretty sure I like this. Delicious. <laughs> this is really, really good. So now, getting to that point, as you can probably imagine, where I'm very, very, getting very, very, very full. I think I've had about five, six, or seven different dishes, tons of different foods. I've got this left, and I'm not sure, it might just about beat me. So I'm gonna chill, maybe just get some tea, and have a little break, and get back to this got one jug pot sorry a pot of tea each they brought over yeah. english got... tea yeah look at this you don't have tea you're not english good service we literally could have shared one of these but no that's not good enough we need uh, we, we need one each we're wow, even this milk is like frothy they've like frothed it up creamy full fat whoa just a little bit though Let's try English tea. I'm not a tea fan, never really drink tea, never did in England, but let's try it here. It's good. Right, so I think I have literally been beaten by this meal and this buffet. I have tried my hardest. I've been picking, nibbling at this last plate, but I think I am done. The buffet has pretty much beaten me. Uh, it was really good. What did you think? Good buffet, yeah? It was all yeah, just all right. Shabby. Yeah, not too shabby. Lots and lots of options, as you saw. And I think the price is 120,000 kip, which is yeah. $12, $12. It's like seven pound 50 or eight pounds, which is pretty good for this quality uh, and the selection available here. It's, it's, it's vast. All right, so we have left the hotel. The breakfast was amazing. It was actually really, really good. For the price, $12, super cheap. Really happy and satisfied. So it's time to end the vlog here now and I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy watching, then hit the thumbs up, give us a comment. If you ever stayed at this hotel before, tell us about how it was and your experience there. That would be awesome. So thanks again, everyone. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll be seeing you really soon. Thank you.